Y'all would think I'm getting paid to promote this. I should be. Pretty little thing, holla at me, but I'm doing this video for y'all. Hi beauties, welcome back to Beauty by Rena. So today I am bringing you a Pretty Little Thing haul. So these past few months I've been having a lot of free time downtime and especially this week i've been having a lot of downtime with the quarantine and the coronavirus coronavirus well, i've been under quarantine since before the coronavirus like just sitting home not really doing much causes you to online shop right so this past couple of months i've been buying a couple things from pretty little things here and there and it has allowed me to put together like a bulk pretty little thing haul so i want to share with you some pieces that i have how i style them because i have worn quite a few of them already and you know put together a little bit of an outfit also if you're interested in this look i've recorded a video on my instagram my instagram is beauty.byrena if you want to go check out some of my other eyeshadow tutorials as i said before all my eyeshadow tutorials are now only going to be on my igtv so this one will be there too if you want to see how i got this look definitely check out my instagram let's get right into the video one of the first few things that i bought was this off the shoulder snake skin top i did buy it some time ago i couldn't really figure out when I bought it but I decided to pair it with some of the things because I thought it was really really cute and it is also from Pretty Little Thing. I did check the website it's no longer up there but there may be it may be popping up or you may be able to find something similar it doesn't have to be the specific thing but I got a off the shoulder snakeskin print top it's really really cute and I paired it with these bottoms that I also got from Pretty Little Thing. They are called the Petite Caramel Roosh Waisted Pants. They have a little ruching at the top um they fit like they're kind of like sweats material but they're like fancy sweats because of the color of them they fit really good like not too tight a little loose as i wanted them and they stop right at the ankle i got them for 11 dollars now a lot of the things that i got in this haul were on sale so you'll be seeing like i paid under 20 dollars for everything in this haul another thing that i got are these stone ankle tie straight leg pants it's a lot to say and i got them for 10 dollars as i said they were on sale but they fit me so well like it's really really tight and knowing i'm a petite girl i'm five foot four and i weigh about 100 pounds so i'm very 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 tiny so this haul is definitely going to be for my petite girls, if you know my struggle. But there are things to my body perfectly, which is why I buy a lot of things from there. Um, so these bottoms that I got that are like a nice stone color, they fit me really, really nice. They made a little booty in the back. Um, and then they have this uh, thing on the bottom where you can tie it to make it. I think this is a style that's in now. You tie it at the bottom. It gives it a little bit of a... I don't know what it's called but it gives it, it gives it a little cute style and you can pair it with some heels and it'll be super 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 cute another thing i usually have difficulty finding is mom jeans um not a lot of mom jeans sue me sometimes they swallow me especially since i'm small and shorter but i found these really 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 cute mom jeans on pretty little thing they usually come with like a, a jeans belt but i couldn't find that at the moment but usually i tie it with the jeans belt and it gives it like a nice little cute bow but this time i just paired it regular if it's tight at the top they're loose at the bottom and it gets kind of like I don't know the styling the way it fits me is really really cute and then when I tie them up or when I um tuck them at the bottom it also gives it a nice little cute style and I've worn a couple of times these pants I've worn with a white turtleneck that I also got from Pretty Little Thing and some snakeskin booties that I got from Ego and they made for a really really cute outfit I love wearing them they like as long as I throw them off throw it on with like a nice cute top it makes a really really cute outfit those jeans are the light wash balloon mom jeans and i got them for 18 dollars so this next outfit i have a lot of explaining not a lot of explaining but i got a little bit of explaining to do with this next outfit i got this purple top it's a bodysuit and i thought it was regular because i don't buy a lot of like casual shirts that i can just wear on an everyday basis so um recently i got a tattoo under my boob and of course as you know i have to put a and ointment and I don't like to wear a bra when I wear it because it rubs against it. So I put on a top and I wore it out with the A&Z ointment on and it stained the shirt. I didn't know that oil stains shirts that way but I threw the shirt in the wash and the stain still hasn't come out. So I still decided to put it in the haul because I think it's really really cute and hopefully by the sake of God I'll get to scrub the stain out before um, so that I can actually wear it. I paired them with these drawstring like paper bag type jeans. It has a little ruffle at the top, the belts at the waist and at the bottom you can also tie them in. Um, really really cute. Haven't worn it yet but I definitely plan on signing that soon. 
those pants were around $12 and then the top was $11 and I got them in a well everything in this video is gonna be size zero or extra small so the next outfit I have is this green bodysuit now I felt totally like have you ever seen a show totally spies I felt like I was from totally spies with this green jumpsuit it is so cute it's a nice velvet material it's not showing true to color on video but it comes off as this emerald green and has zippers on the neck fits really really nice oh, it's so it's so nice it gives me a nice little booty oh my god so I show you how you know it looks in the camera but I have some photos that I took I wore it out to my friend's birthday but I didn't take a full body picture but I still took a um I did my eyeshadow to match the outfit so I'm gonna insert that picture because I think it was very cute my eyeshadow matched the green of the outfit and yeah y'all will never guess how much I paid for it guess I paid four dollars for that jumpsuit four dollars like even when I bought it, I was just like, there is no way. I think, I can't remember what happened, but Pretty Little Thing has this huge 50% off sale. And I was just, I bought so much stuff for 50% off, like, literally. You say, I say, I spent $300, but listen, I got me, I got me a couple things, okay? The next thing that I have in my closet is, well, that I purchased from Pretty Little Thing is this black teddy coat. Now, I've been looking for a teddy coat everywhere, and I wanted it to be this specific material. I've been looking for a um, chestnut colored one, but I haven't been able to find the perfect one without having to spend $100. Not doing that. But I found this one. It's called the Black Teddy Full Fur Coat, and I got it for $10. Y'all know teddy coats be out here costing a arm and a leg if you cost it a bag okay i got it for ten dollars when i saw it for ten dollars i have to throw it in my cart real quick so this teddy coat i be wearing all the time because it's nice it's so nice and soft it's not the warmest but i did wear it to pennsylvania on a trip and i'll take show you a picture here um i wore it it was cold like that a cold snowing on a mountain that's where i wore it and it was it kept me a little warm it didn't keep me like canada goose warm but it kept me pretty warm and it was just it was just a look Especially with my little aviator glasses like I was on that mountain slaying okay slaying I also got another coat it's a maxi puffer I'm into like this whole maxi coat look like I have another black puffer that I got from Hollister but I love the long like I don't know look when you're feeling like being laid back and you want to just throw on something I think that tan puffer coat is really really cute you can throw it on with some sneakers some ripped jeans a little hat you set in the style like I, like everybody's into like the little crop puffers which i also like too but i feel like the long puffers are you know making a making a comeback it is going into springtime now so it may be a little you can't you can't wear that now but i'm still gonna wear it in winter time i'm gonna make it a trend if it's not a trend um that coat i got for nine dollars how how many times do you hear getting a puffer for nine times for nine times for nine dollars i'll wait you don't because like you don't Everybody needs a little black dress in their closet, okay? It doesn't matter what the short, long, what you need a little black dress to throw on that you can style up. Now I found this. It's a one-shoulder black dress from Pretty Little Thing, and I got it for $15. On their site, it's called the Black Disco Slinky One-Shoulder Midi Dress. And I thought it was really, really cute because instead of like a regular simple black dress, it comes across your next shoulder and gives you a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of oomph. It's showing a little bit of skin here super 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 cute it fits me very form-fitting fits me really nice the only thing is that it's a little baggy around the shoulder because my arms are very tiny and the arm didn't fit me as tight but i'm still going out still going out with it this next dress is a nice stone color it's very very tight very very tight ruch dress strappy and has some straps on the bottom as well that you can tie i love this dress i think it is so cute the only thing is that it fits me so tight but it doesn't give me a shape like it gives me a little booty in the back i think it's really cute for the booty in the back but like in the front i look like i'm just like which it may be my fault but i think sometimes some dress give me a little bit of curve and this dress don't give me no curve i wore it to my cousin's birthday and i also wore it with the black teddy because it was cold outside it's called the stone strappy ruched midi dress and i got it for 14 dollars the next thing i got y'all this dress is making me feel like a geisha okay i don't know what it is about it but like if it had like the little geisha flowers on it it would be a geisha dress but it's this really nice it's like a it's, looks like it's silk but i would call it satin I would say it's a nice satin, red satin dress. It has um, strings on the back so you can crisscross it so it gives you a little black a back cleavage. And then it has a little peplum at the bottom. It is so cute. Now, the only issue I also have with this is that it's all me though. It's all me. 
I don't have any boobs. So like this cleavage part right here threatens to expose me every time unless I tie it real tight in the back. So that's my only issue. It doesn't fit me as tight as I wish it would even though it is extra small. But I think there's ways around it. And I definitely do need to iron it. Like that dress needs to be ironed. So the dress is the Red Crisscross Back Fro Hem Body Con Dress. And I got it for $20. So that was probably like the most expensive thing. Maybe not the most expensive thing, but one of them, okay? So since I intended on wearing this outfit for Valentine's Day, I had to go on through the thing again to find some items to wear with it. So I paired it with this really, 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 really cute bag. I love this bag, oh my god. It's this really cute pearl bag, and it has like gold studs in the middle. It's so cute and dainty, like, ooh, I love the bag. It was on sale, 40% off. It's called the White Pearl Tube Grab Bag. And I got it for $21. And then I also paired it with these red strappy heels that I found super cute. I always needed a pair of red strappy heels in my closet because I don't have any red heels, which is crazy. I don't have any red heels, and those are a staple. You must have some red heels. Maybe I'm biased, but you must have some red heels in your closet. Oh, the red ankle lace up block heel point toe sandal. And um, they were also on sale 40% off, and I got them for $31. This next item I got is a denim dress. I love it so much. It is so cute. It's a collar denim dress and has a belt in the middle. It comes down pretty low, but you can also push it up a little bit. But it fits me so well. I cannot wait to wear it. Right now, it's a little cold. So more so in the spring, summertime, I'm going to be popping out with it. But I paired it with these boots that I also got. Before we get into boots, let me get into the name on Pretty Little Thing. It's called a Big Wash Zip Front Belted Denim Dress. And I got that for $11. I paired it with these boots. Now, I also never had a pair of knee-high black booted heels in my closet. And that's like a staple in everybody's closet. You can just throw them on and go. But I was like, I don't want the basic, you know, the suede ones that everyone has in their closet with a little block heel. I didn't want that. So I was like, let me try to find something super cute. So I went shopping on Pretty Little Things website and I found these black snakeskin knee-high boots. Now, they fit me kind of big because I am, as I said before, petite, but I still think it adds to the flair of it, and it's so cute. Like, I love them. And they're pointy-toed. Like, get into these heels. And I wore them out. They were super, super cute when I wore them out. I paired them with a um, very, very chill outfit. See, that's the thing about black knee-high boots. You can put them on with the chill outfit, and it really brings out the outfit. I paired it with this graphic tee, some plain kind of um, wax jeans. Bro, super cute. I was styling on them that day. All right, my loves, that's all I have for you in this video. Please let me know if you like videos like this. If you like videos like this, if you like hauls, if you like makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, whatever the likes may be, leave them down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be coming to you with more videos soon. Stay on the lookout. I'm trying to do a large array of different things, so not just beauty. I might be doing a mukbang, little video here, video there, things out of the normal. Switching up my content a little bit, but I still will be giving you beauty videos. So yes, definitely stick with me. I hope you all stay safe during this coronavirus quarantine. I'm praying for your loved ones, praying for everyone watching this video. Stay safe and bye, love you.